shine in the night There's the season you can see the sun shining There's a reason in every season in the life of man There's a season of being born Kuna majira ya kuzaliwa In the season of die Na majira ya kufa But you Lakini kwako You do understand that Praise God, Hallelujah. Mungu asodiri. You understand what I'm saying? Umeleo ni chosem. Thank you for clapping your hands. Na shukuru kwa kupiga mikono yako. Mini. Manake. As long you are living in the flesh. Kwa kuwa unaishi katika muidi. Time will come, you will die. Muda utafika, utakufa. But you. Lakini wewe. Because we're Christian. Kwa sabu ni mkristo. You don't want to die, you want to live here forever. Autaki kufa, unataka uishi hapa milele. And as long as I'm saying. Elewa ni chosem. Because we're Christian. Kwa sabu ni mkristo. You don't want to die. Hautaki ufe. You want to live here. Unataka uishi tu hapa. Forever. Milele yote. If you want to live here forever. Kama unataka uishi hapa milele. Your friend will be devil. Lafiki yako atakuwa shetani. Because you are a spirit living in flesh. Kwa sababu wewe ni roho anayeishi katika mwili. At the end of your body. Kuna mwisho wa mwili wako. Must come. Lazima uje. So that you can travel to go to heaven. Ili kwamba usafiri kwenda mbinguni. There's no way you can go to heaven with your body. Hakuna namna ukaenda mbinguni na mwili wako. So if you don't want to die, you want to see yourself having be, doing makeup, lipstick and everything. Kwa kama hutaki kufa unataka kila wakati unapamba midomo yako na yes. lipstick. Putting the sangita here. Unaweka sangita kichwani. You don't want to be old. Hautaki kuonekana kuwa mzee. Yani kuna mtu ni Mkristo lakini akiona mvi imetokea tu kichwani, ni tatizo kwake. Huo ni ugomvi kabisa. Ili balai. Umri mbona mimi babu yangu ana miaka 56 hana mvi. Yaani mimi miaka 50 tu mvi. Kwa nataka mvi aina nani? Majira yamefika. Ukiona mvi zinatokea maana yake unaambia kwamba ni jioni. Jua sasa ni saa 10. Unapambana mwenyewe mawigi nganga nganga kuna shaka huyu mama mbona hajai kuvaga mawigi zamani kumbe kuna mvi kachomoza hapa hajai vaga black nganga nganga black ba 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 uja kasa unaweka na breach kabisa ili onekane si breach si breach what what si zina kama nyenye zina kama nyenye kunyekundu ni nini eh ina na ile ina kama njano nyenye zina kama njano ni breach eh breach unaweka na breach ili uone kwamba hizi zimeweka ni style tu kumbe kuna mvi mmoja tu imetokeza sautaki yale majira kabisa praise god hallelujah mungu asalia so if you understand kwa ukielewa the season majira we keep celebrating jesus christ utaendelea kumsherekea yesu kristo na mwingine ukiona mvi unasema hii laana gani hii laana gani kwa umri mvi zimekuja laana gani Praise God Ali. Mungu asalili. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. So why I'm fixing this? Kwa kwa nini nakupangilia haya? I'm telling because there is no list on that can make you to stop from worshiping God or giving God thanks. Ninakuambia haya kwa sababu hakuna sababu ambayo inaweza kukuzuia wewe kutoka kumpa Mungu sifa. How can I give God thanks? Namna gani naweza kumpa Mungu sifa? For what? Kwa ajili ya nini? For what? Why? Kwa nini? Every day you are expecting to be up. Kila siku unatarajia kuwa juu. To be up. Uwe juu. Remember. Kumbuka in the time when we are going down. Kuna wakati ambapo nashuka chini. God is teaching us. Mungu anatufundisha something. There's no way God can teach us when we are up. Hakuna namna Mungu akatufundisha pale tunapokuwa juu tu. No. Hapana. When is removing the thing that we have? Pale anapondoa vitu ambavyo tunavyo. Is teaching us and putting us to be humble anatufundisha na kutufanya tu wanyenyekevu because he knows kwa sababu anafahamu the way you're going, the way you're going to become the next namna utakavyokuwa hapo baadaye so he don't want to destroy you kwa hataki akuharibu so he's teaching you mapema anaondoa vile vitu hiyo 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 mapema kabisa praise god mungu asalili ili kwamba roho wanyenyekevu ingie nini ndani yako wakati mwingine Mungu anakushusha ili akuondolee marafiki wasio kuwa sahihi kwenye maisha yako. Yamkina naongea na wewe lakini wewe uelewi. 
Kwa anaamua kupitisha kwenye msukosuko aweze kuondoa hata usukoni ni kwenye maisha yako. Very important. Ni muhimu sana. Very important. Muhimu sana. So rejoice as a Christian. Kwa furahia kama mkristo. If you are in the season of empty. Kama uko kwenye majira kutokuwa na kitu. Even though it's hard. Hata kama ni ngumu. You may say yeah, mm, how can I say it? Naweza kusema nawezaje kusema hivyo? But I've seen. Lakini nimeona with my two eyes. Na macho yangu mawili. If you give God praise and thanks in the time that you have nothing. Ukimpa Mungu sifa na shukrani pale ambapo huna chochote. My dear. Rafiki yangu, your journey is a good journey. Safari yako ni safari nzuri. Katika ushindi mkubwa that can make you ambao unaweza kukufanya to be unshakable in your journey. Kuwa asiyetikishika kwenye safari yako. It's only when you are facing challenge or you are walking in emptiness. Ni pale unapitia changamoto ama unapitia katika kutokuwa na kitu. You acknowledge Jesus. Na umemtambua Yesu. You give him thank you. Unampa yeye shukrani. As long you are alive as long you are breathing. Kwa kuwa naishi kwa kuwa napumua. You acknowledge his position. Umetambua nafasi yake. That he deserves the praise. Kwa maana asaidi sifa zote. He deserves all the glory. Anastahili utukufu wote. No matter what that happen. Ajalishi nini kinatokea? He deserves all. Lakini anastahili yote. Because as long I'm breathing now kwa sababu kwa kuwa ninaishi sasa lazima nimpe neno asante kwa sababu nafahamu yeye ni baba mzuri katika maisha yangu najua mimi anayefuata naenda kuwa mtu mkuu kwa ni muhimu sana kwetu lakini kwa sababu mafundisho potofu yanaoendelea hapa duniani wewe ni mbarikewa na kwambia ukiona kabisa pesa zako zina unafilisika jua ni shetani huyo no 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 how about job hapana ilikuwaje kwa ayubu how about job ilikuwaje kwa ayubu how about job ilikuwaje kwa habari ayubu so job can tell us kwa ayubu anaweza katuambia he had the way to teach us ana neno la kutufundisha about the season kwa habari ya majira and the reason in every season na sababu katika kila majira but in those season lakini katika majira yote god will remain a good father mungu atabakia baba mzuri god he remain a good father mungu atabakia kuwa baba mzuri but once you complain lakini utakapoanza tu kulalamika you don't have the strength huna hiyo nguvu to come out ya kutoka because no one is above temptation and trial kwa sababu hakuna aliye juu ya vishawishi na majaribu when you hear something trial unaposikia kitu kinaitwa jaribu is something above you ni kitu ambacho kiko zaidi ya uwezo wako but is putting you close to god lakini kinakuweka karibu na mungu because because trial is above you kwa sababu jaribu liko zaidi ya uwezo wako na hauna ile nguvu ya kutoka kwenye ile jaribu so you start thing mm. the only way that you can get help kwa utaanza kufikiria kwamba njia pekee ambayo unaweza kupata msaada fast and praying fast praying ni kufunga na kuomba kufunga na kuomba running to him unamkimbilia yeye the one who is above all the trials aliye juu ya majaribu yote the one who overcome the trial aliye shinda majaribu the one who conquer the devil aliye mshinda shetani the one who conquer the world aliye shinda ulimwengu the one who give us a victory aliye tupa ushindi praise god hallelujah mungu asalude so give god thank you in the o, time of the emptiness kwa mungu shukrani wakati ambapo hauna kitu give him thank you mpe shukrani even the time of emptiness hata wakati ambao hauna chochote god we know and acknowledge that you are a good child. Mungu atafahamu na kutambua kwamba wewe ni mtoto mzuri. Even you know in your house a good child. Ataona fahamu katika nyumba yako mtoto mzuri. If he see there's no food in house. Kama anaona hakuna chakula kwenye nyumba. He can't go to your neighbor. Hawezi kwenda kwa jirani yako. He will remain keeping secretly ataendelea kuenda kukaa pale nyumbani hawezi kukwaibisha huko nje kitu hicho hicho kama wewe ni mkristo hauone vitu vikienda vizuri unabakia kwenye mstari bakia kwenye mstari mungu asalimu just know fahamu kwamba baba yako anakufahamu 
anakufahamu vizuri zaidi don't go to your to the neighbor ushiende kwa jirani yako do you know neighbor unamfahamu jirani yako devil ni shetani you go to the house of the neighbor unaenda kwenye nyumba ya jirani yako to get breakthrough kupata mpenyo to eat there kula kule you are embarrassing your father unamwaibisha baba yako your heavenly father baba yako wa mbinguni Praise God alie. Mungu asadudi. Just think, get the picture. Hebu fikiria, pata picha. Nyumbani una watoto watatu. Alafu unafika tu chakula labda wewe mwanamke mume wako haja kuachia pesa chakula. Alafu kafika tu chakula pale hamna. Wako watu watatu au watu wawili. Alafu mmoja anafika tu anazugazuga pale. Mama naomba nikacheze kwa nani? Kasema chakula alikuwa amekaa nyumbani anasema chakula baadaye mama naomba niende kwa nani nikaongee. Eh naomba unajua huyu. Huyu maisha yake huyu Praise Galia Lakini mimi ngoja mama chakula amna haya mama saa ngapi mchana sudi cha chakula cha mtakula mchana baadaye mpaka jioni lakini yuko nyumbani That is a good son or daughter Huyo ni mtoto mzuri ama binti mzuri Tuenaenda kwa jirani Ah uh, that one is a problem Huyo ni tatizo Take it Nichukue hilo Take it Nichukue hilo Why I'm giving you this message kwa nini nakupa ujumbe huu? Because there is no reason. Kwa sababu hakuna sababu that can make you to stop from giving God thank you. Ambayo inaweza kukuzuia kutoka kumpa Mungu shukulani. No, hakuna hata. Jesus, Yesu, he give heavenly father thank you. Alimpa shukulani babake wa mbinguni in the time of emptiness. Wakati ambao hakuwa na kitu. Little fish. Alikuwa na samaki wachache tu little blade na mkate mchache tu he say thank you akasema asante why we fail to give god thank you kwa nini nashindwa kumpa mungu shukrani we think big unafikiria makubwa tu try for non believer unafikiri majaribu ni kwa wasioamini tu not you sio kwako try majaribu is only for you for non believer ni kwa wale wasioamini tu not you sio kwako but this is truth lakini hii ndio kweli and they cannot change na haiwezi kubadilika if you don't want season kama huyataki majira ask god to die go to heaven muombe mungu ufe ili uende mbinguni praise him what i'm saying nimesema nini if you don't want if you don't want season kama hutaki majira the best way nje ndio bora die go away kufa na uenda mbinguni because solomon kwa sababu sulaiman is telling the reason in every season on earth anatuambia kuna sababu katika kila majira hapa duniani praise god alie mungu asadi on earth hapa duniani so if you don't want kwa kama hautaki the season majira you want the season of good only unataka majira mema tu not the bad things to happen to you so vitu vibaya vitokee kwenye maisha yako very easy ni rahisi sana you can ask god to die you can go unaweza kuomba kumuomba mungu ufe na uondoke why should you struggle here kwa nini uteseke hapa this is our message huu ndio ujumbe wetu if we see we are empty kama tunajiona wenyewe hatuna kitu glory belong to jesus christ utukufu ni wa yesu kristo if we have tukiwa nacho glory belong to jesus christ utukufu ni wa yesu kristo whether we live tuwe tunaishi or we die ama tutakufa glory belong to Jesus Christ. Utukufu ni wa Yesu Kristo. Whether we eat, tuwe tunakula or we don't eat. Ama hatuli. Glory belong to Jesus Christ. Utukufu ni wa Yesu Kristo. Whether we wake up, ama tumeamka or we don't wake up. Au hatujamka. Siri glory belong to Jesus. Bado utukufu ni wa Yesu Kristo. The one who paid all. Aliyalipa gharama zote. For me and you. Kwa ajili yangu na wewe. The one who knows our journey and where we are going. Anayefahamu safari yetu na kwetu tunakuelekea. Continue. Endelea kusoma wakati wa kupanda mm-hmm. na wakati wa kumoa kilichopandwa mm-hmm. wakati wa kuua mm-hmm. na wakati wa kuponya mm-hmm. wakati wa kubomoa mm-hmm. na wakati wa kucheka mm-hmm. wakati wa kulia mm-hmm. na wakati wa kucheka do you see it naweza kuona hii kwa kumbe wakati wa kulia fanyeje as long we are living where wako naishi wapi you have never cried but me i cried a million times hujawahi kulia lakini mimi nimelia mara million kwenye safari yangu i cried many times nimelia mara nyingi sana 
Praise God Hallelujah. Mungu asalibi. If you ask me why are you crying? Ukiniuliza mimi kwa nini nalia? I can't answer you. Siwezi kukujibu. Because God knows why I'm crying. Kwa sababu Mungu anafahamu kwa nini nalia. Praise God. Mungu asalibi. But my tears. Lakini machozi yangu cannot stop me from giving God thanks. Haiwezi kunizuia mimi kumpa Mungu shukrani. Cannot. Haiwezi. Maybe if I create myself Labda kama mimi nilijumba mwenyewe but if him he create me and you lakini kama yeye aliniumba mimi na wewe there is a reason to give him thank you kuna sababu ya kumpa yeye shukrani and to glorify his holy name as long we are alive na kulitukuza jina lake takatifu kwa kuwa tunaishi the meaning of being a christian hiyo ndio maana kwa wakristo being a christian kwa wakristo being a christian kwa mkristo is not only you a christian because you have money sio tu kama wewe ni mkristo kwa kuwa una fedha you have car una gari you are known Unafahamika even if you are empty hata kama una kitu remember Lazarus mkumbuke Lazarus he was empty alikuwa hana kitu but he was a favor before god lakini alikuwa na kibali mbele za mungu remember Lazarus mkumbuke Lazarus he was empty alikuwa hana kitu but how about favor before god lakini ilikwaje kwa baada ya kibali mbele za Mungu the situation did not remove him from being a christian ila hali haikumtoa yeye kuwa mkristo like other people kama watu wengine situation kwenye hali can remove them zinaweza kuwatoa from being a real christian kutoka kuwa wakristo halisi and he become a friend of jesus na akafanika kuwa rafiki wa yesu how jesus could perform a miracle front of his disciples ni kwa namna gani yesu angefanya miujiza mbele ya wanafunzi wake if they were not in the season of emptiness kama wasingekuwa kwenye majira ya kutokuwa na kitu sometime emptiness wakati mwingine kutokuwa na kitu attract god to show how great he is to your life kuna mvuta mungu kutuonyesha namna gani alikuwa mkuu how namna gani because the thing that the power that the it was Jesus front of Peter and Jacob and the John kwa sababu ile nguvu ambayo Yesu alidhirisha mbele ya wanafunzi wake Petro, Yohana na Yakobo in the Galilees kule Galilaya praise God Mungu asalibu when they were fishing there busy working walipokuwa na wanashughulika kuvua samaki pale because he went there in the season of emptiness kwa sababu alienda kule wakati hawakuwa na kitu Praise God. Mungu asalibu. He performed the miracle. Akafanya muujiza. That miracle. Ule muujiza. Make them to trust Jesus. Ukawafanya wao waamini Yesu. The same thing. Kitu hicho hicho. You may be a man of God you are here. Unaweza kuwa mtumishi wa Mungu uko hapa. You are facing challenge. Unapitia changamoto. You may be a business woman. Unaweza kuwa mwanamke mfanya biashara. Or you are working in the company. Ama unafanya kazi kwenye kampuni. Understand. Elewa the reason sababu in every season katika kila majira your life will be a joyful life maisha yako yatakuwa ni maisha ya furaha you can't complain to your boss hauwezi kumlalamikia mkuu wako you can't complain hauwezi kumlalamikia because every season kwa sababu kila majira there is a reason kuna sababu but in all lakini katika yote give god thank you mpe mungu shukrani because he's the only one who knows you better more than anyone kwa sababu ni yeye tu anayekufahamu wewe kuliko mtu mwingine yeyote Praise God. Mungu asalibu. Giving God thank you. Kumpa Mungu shukrani is confirming kuna thibitisha you that you are a genuine Christian. Kuna kuthibitisha wewe kwamba wewe ni Mkristo halisi. The leaders watu wa dini or those who non believe ama wale wasioamini if they face challenge wakikutana na changamoto they complain they cry. Wanalalamika na kulia and they give up. Na mwisho wake anakata tamaa. Even you a Christian, hata wewe Mkristo, when you facing challenge, unapopitia changamoto, you complain, you cry and you give up. Unalamika unalia na kukata tamaa. Remember, kumbuka, to give up, kukata tamaa. It is not the character of the believer. Hiyo sio tabia ya waamini. It's not the character. Sio tabia because our main role model is Jesus Christ. Kwa sababu mfano wetu wa kuigwa ni Yesu Kristo and he did not give up na yeye hakukata tamaa kabisa with all that he went through pamoja na yote aliyopitia but he did not give up lakini bado hakukata tamaa the same thing kitu hicho hicho must be to us lazima kiwe kwetu praise god mungu asalibu sina 
Ona sasa. Do you think this church just expand without a trial? Unafikiri kanisa limetanuliwa hivi bila majaribu yote? Kutoka na majaribu. With trouble. Bila matatizo. In every trial we said we cannot contribute people. Katika kila jaribu tusema hatuwezi kuwachangisha watu. God will do it. Mungu atafanya. In every trouble, katika kila matatizo, we cannot contribute people. Tukasema hatuwezi kuwachangisha watu. And like though we start from beginning. Kama tulivyoanza tokea mwanzo, we stand we continue to stand with God. Tulisimama, tutaendelea kusimama na Mungu. As he said. Kama alivyosema, mwenye haki ataishi kwa imani. Was a small, nilikuwa dogo. Pam. Pam. Now bam. The next you find bam. Then you find turning. The water come this side, people this side. Praise God here. Mungu asalamu. The next you find big church in Kiba. Mwisho wa siku utaona kanisa kubwa kule Kibaha. And no contribution. Na hakuna mchango wote because we understand the reason in every season. Kwa sababu tumeelewa sababu katika kila majira. As we said people that we come here to hear what God is saying only. Kama tulivyosema watu atakuja hapa kwa ajili ya kusikia kila macho Mungu amesema. We cannot disturb them. Hatuwezi kuwasumbua. And I stand in that faith. Na nikasimama katika hiyo imani until now. Mpaka sasa. Until now. Mpaka sasa. Praise God alone. Mungu asalimu. It take your face to do what? To stand. Inachukua imani kusimama. Praise God alone. Mungu asalimu. Understand. Elewa. Even when you were starting the ministry. Hata nilipokuwa nikianza huduma. You know, you don't need the devil. Hapa mtumia mtu. That's why many fake people ndio maana watu wengi wasio harisi you meet with them when you are, you are empty unakutana nao pale ambapo huna kitu they come to say kosa na wewe jaribu na huku eh jaribu na huku wewe umeokoka tu ndio eh mungu anasema eh jisaidie nami nitakusaidia si ile andiko liko wapi hilo eh hilo ni andiko lipo kwa hiyo ndio si yako mimi nitafutaka sana kwa biblia sana sikulipotaka liko sehemu gani kitabu gani Mandi andiko ambalo liko famous over the world. Ni ma- maarufu dunia nzima. Is it true? Je, ni kweli? Mungu anasema ajisaidie. Mimi nitakusaidia. Yaani Mungu anasema ajisaidie na mimi nitakusaidia. Anasema Mungu bali. Praise God. Mungu asante. Hilo andiko linaendelea ile linaendelea eh ni sema nitakusaidia. Praise God. Mungu asante. That's why. Ndio maana ilibidi baadhi ya majira yaje majira yenye kuumiza yenye kuvunja moyo the same thing to you kitu hicho hicho atakuwa kama unawakika na Yesu aliyekuwa ndani yake don't worry about the season usiwa na wasiwasi kwa habari ya majira don't worry about the season usiwa na wasiwasi kwa habari ya majira stand just only stand we simama tu stand just only stand simama tu just know i have jesus simama tu kwamba nina yesu i have jesus nina yesu i have jesus nina yesu i have jesus nina yesu you just stand we simama tu as long you have jesus kwa kuwa na yesu you just stand we simama tu praise god mungu asante utaona vision inakuwa clear life become clear maisha na kwa kuna galafa ziko hapo na wale wa kuvunja moyo lazima waje waseme hii sio sawa ili ni sio sawa praise god so why i'm saying this kwa kwa nini nasema na maana kwamba kwenye kila majira kuna sababu lakini usitoke kwenye msimamo uliokuwa nao don't come out Usitoke. No matter what happened. Don't Haijalishi nitatokea usitoke. You will see your life being clear. Utaona maisha yako yakiwa wazi. You will see your relationship between you and Jesus Christ being what? Clear. Utaona mahusiano yako kati ya wewe na Yesu yanakuwa imara. Why? Kwa nini? Because in every reason. Kwa sababu kila sababu. In every season. Katika kila majira. You know it. Unafahamu. So very important of God. Kwa ni muhimu sana watoto wa Mungu. I want you. Ninakutaka to understand. Uelewe that the no reason that can make you to stop to give God thank you. Kwamba hakuna sababu ambayo inaweza kukuzuia wewe umpe Mungu shukrani. Praise God. Mungu asalimu. No, hakuna. 
Praise Yahweh. Mungu asifiwe. No. Hapana. No reason. Hakuna sababu yote. Take it. Nichukue hilo. Give God thank you every day as long you are alive. Mpe Mungu shukrani kila siku katika maisha yako. Don't allow the situation. Usiruhusu hali. Don't tell the situation. Usiruhusu hali zingine. Give God, give God. Say God thank you. Unaweza kusimama kwa mambo mengi asante. Thank you, thank you. You just stand up. We simama. You thank God, thank God, thank God. Mungu, mshukuru Mungu, mshukuru Mungu. Give God thank you wherever you are. Mpe Mungu shukrani. For the bad and good. Kwa mazuri na mema. Give God thank you. Mwambie Mungu asante. Give God thank you. Mwambie Mungu asante. Give God thank you. Mpe Mungu asante. No matter what is going on in your life. Haijalishi kinachoendelea kwa mimi. Just give him thank you. Wewe mpe shukrani tu. Give him thank you. Mpe shukrani. No matter what happen. Haijalishi kinachoendelea. If your husband is cheating you. Hata kama mume wako anakudanganya. There is on there is on. Kuna sababu kuna sababu. There is on. Kuna sababu. You just give God thank you. Wewe mpe Mungu shukrani. Thank you for all. Thank you for all. Shukuru kwa yote, mshukuru kwa yote. Thank you for all. Mshukuru kwa yote. Give him thank you better you can. Mshukuru kwa kadri uwezavyo. Because he deserve all the thanks for. Give him thank you. Mpe shukrani. Give him thank you. Mpe shukrani. Give him thank you for creating you. Mpe shukrani kwa kukuumba. For making to breathe again. Kwa kufanya upumue tena. For making to breathe again. Kwa kufanya upumue tena. For making to breathe again. Kwa kufanya upumue tena. You can give him thank you. Unaweza kumshukuru. Give him thank you. Mpe shukrani. Thank you for your husband. Shukuru kwa habari ya mama. Thank you for your children. Shukuru kwa watoto wako. Thank you for your grandchildren. Shukuru kwa watoto wako. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwajibu zako. Mwambie asante sana. Give him thank, give him thank you. Mpe shukrani, mpe shukrani. The word thank you has a meaning. Neno shukrani na dina maana. Mama, we are thinking let us give him thank you. Kwa kadri wanavyoimba acha tuendelee kumshukuru. Give him thank you, give him thank you. Mpe shukrani, mpe shukrani. No matter what you went through. Haijalishi ulichopitia. Give him thank you. Mshukuru. Give him thank you. Mshukuru. Give him thank you. Give him thank you. Mshukuru, mshukuru. Don't, 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 don't get tired. Usitoke. Give him thank you. Mshukuru, mshukuru. Give him thank you. Give him thank you. Mshukuru, mshukuru. For your children. Kwa watoto wako. Give him thank you. Give him thank you. Mshukuru, mshukuru. Yes, for your business, for your position. Kwa ajili ya biashara yako, nafasi yako. Keep watching POG Family TV. Jesus Christ loves you.